Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph of the function f and use it to determine the values for a for which the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists. So we have this piecewise function here, so let's graph all of the pieces. So first we have f of x is equal to 1 plus x. So this is a line. So we have this uh, constant right here is the y-intercept. So we have a y-intercept of 1. And the slope is the constant um, coefficient in front of x, which it doesn't have one, which means it's just 1, right? Since this is just plus 1 plus 1x. If the slope is 1, that means we go over to the right one and then up one, over to the right one and then up one. And we can see that the function follows this general shape. Now there are domain restrictions, but we're going to get into that later. That's why I'm currently doing it in pencil. Next we have x squared. So this is just the general shape of the parabola, and I think it's helpful to plot some of the key points. So we have 0, 0, and then negative 1, 1, and 1, 1. We have 2, 4, and negative 2, 4, and that's about it. And then that just fills out the parabola like this. And finally, we have 2 minus x. So again, this is a line, so this is the y-intercept of 2. And the coefficient for x this time is negative 1. So that means you go over to the right one and then down one, to the right one and then down one, and so on. And therefore, the function looks a little bit like this. So now we have these three functions, and we have to restrict them to their respective domains. So this is 1 plus x, and this is applicable when x is less than negative 1. So x is equal to negative 1 here, so we draw an open circle because it's not less than or equal. And for all values to the left, right, less than negative 1, this is what the function is. The value of the function is equal to x squared if x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So the parabola here starts at negative 1, and it's solid because it's equal here. And that goes up to 1, but 1 is not inclusive. And then it's on this line if x is greater than or equal to 1. So starting at x is equal to 1, so we actually get to shade in this point because they're shared by both functions. And then for all values greater than 1 for the x um, variable. So given this, we can now erase all of our pencil marks, and we've reduced the function only to values which are in the domain as given by this piecewise definition. So we're asked to sketch the graph and use it to determine which values x, the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists. So starting as far left as we can see the function, we just look for a visual discontinuity. So we see it's all the way up here, completely continuous. That's because it's all on this one function. Then we jump from 1 plus x to x squared, and we can see as x approaches negative 1 from the left and the right, they approach different points. Therefore, the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists four values of a not equal to negative 1. Are there any more values? Well, we start here, we continue along the parabola, and it's continuous along the parabola. Then we get to the end of the parabola, but it's okay because 2 minus x and x squared approach the same value at the point where they switch off. At x equals 1, they're equal to the same point, so it's continuous. Therefore, this limit exists for all a except for a is equal to negative 1.